So okay guys, today I'm going to be talking about magic bites, what they are, and what all can be done with them. Magic bites are also known as magic numbers, so don't let me get you confused, but essentially what they are, they are the first few hexadecimal bytes within a file that determine its file file signature. Now there's a lot of things that could be done with this, however for the sake of making this easily to understand, I'm going to pretend that we're doing a capture the flag here, I was sent a file that looks like a ping, it doesn't open, and if I check the properties of it, it is listed as a ping itself. Now you may be wondering, how can that be? If it's not a ping, then what is it and why is it reading it as a ping? Well, to answer this, we're first of all going to have to dig into what this file is, so I'm going to go into an editor here and do typically my normal capture the flag thing. I'm going to just CD into the demo folder for this. Clear the screen, ls. As you can see, I'm in the folder with our test.ping. I'm going to simply run a file on that test and see what it reads. As you can see, it reads that it's data, but it doesn't know what it is or what kind of data. So what can we do to maybe figure out this puzzle? Well, I'm going to easily just run this through strings, which is just a... I'd like to say it's a file viewer editor. It's kind of a Swiss Army knife of things. I'm just going to type in the file name, and it's going to load in everything on screen. Typically, if you get sent something like a ping or a capture the flag says help me find the corrupted data and they give you a ping JPEG or any other kind of file format if you run a strings on it, in most cases at the very end of the file, you'll get some directories. These are actually files that are located within this file, well in the zip. So now that I know it's some kind of zip file, what do I need to do or change to get it to work again? Well. To do this, I recommend taking a look at the file signature list on uh, the wiki first and taking note of the value that you're looking for. In my particular case, I'm looking for a PK extension, so I'm just going to do a control F, find it on the page, and now that I found that, I'm going to copy it and we're going to paste that later. But for now, we need to install a program if you're on Windows. I recommend 010. It was suggested to me, and it seems like a pretty good hex editor. However, if you're on uh, Arch Linux like me, just do a sudo pacman tag s hex edit. That will install a simple hex editor that you can use. It doesn't take long to install at all. However, if you're on a different Linux distribution such as Debian or Kali, all you got to do is type in sudo apt-get ooh sudo apt-get install hex edit. And that will install the same exact hex editor that I'm going to be using in today's video on your machine. However, since I got this installed, let me navigate back to that uh, demo folder, show you that I'm in it, and we're going to open this uh, file up in the hex editor. To do that, all you got to do is type in hex edit. Sorry, I want a bit of dyslex dyslexic there on you. You just want to type in hex edit and then the file name, then hit enter. Don't be daunted, this is okay, and it's perfectly easy to understand. I'm going to just explain some of the basics and you'll figure it out pretty quick from there. Uh, let's say we mess up, we typed in a bunch of numbers by mistake. Don't worry, as long as you didn't save, you can hit the backspace key and undo whatever damage it is that you did. However, let's say you want to edit a value later on in the file itself. You can easily do that just by using your arrow keys to move around. We're not going to be needing that. Like I said, we're going to be modifying the magic bytes, which are the first, like, four, five, or six, uh, decimal numbers, or, well, numbers in this case in the hex file itself. As you can see, this particular file says it's a .ping. So if we change these numbers out, I'm just going to right click and paste. It will change the file to the PK file that we suggested or that we told it to do earlier. However, there is sometimes a weird bug, so keep in mind if you do paste in this program, sometimes you got to do it twice. As you saw there, it didn't take till I deleted everything and then pasted it again and that time it took. Now once we've done our hex editing change, in our case we changed the magic bytes to that of a PK file, all you gotta do is hit Control X and then hit Y to save your file. So now you may be wondering, what is it that I did to the file? The file is still reading as a ping file. Well, we just changed the file signature, not the extension. So if we run a simple file on that file again, that was a mouthful, hit enter, you can see that it's changed and now it reads as a zip archive data. 
actually, I think uh, Arc will still read this fine with even the ping extension. Let me test it. No, okay. So to fix the ping extension, all you'd have to do is just uh, right click it, rename, change it like that to a dot zip. Or you can just go in the terminal itself and type in uh, the file name, actually move, mv, then test, that's their file name, and call it something else. Let's say we want it back to be in a ping. That's how you would do that. In our case, I want to change it from the ping to a zip, so I'm just going to put uh, the zip extension back in and hit enter. Now the moment of truth, will this actually work when we double click it? Yes, it will. As you can see, this is a zip file containing Dali Mini. This is a glimpse into a future video on the channel, perhaps. I'm going to be messing around with this. I'm not too sure if my system can handle it. However, if you're into AI-generated images, I'm sure you will get a kick out of it when I get around to making it. But for the time being, that is it. I showed you guys how to modify Magic Bytes to fix a file. Now you may be wondering before I leave this video off, what else can be done with this particular Magic Byte editing? Well, there's actually a lot of things that can be done. You can use it to fix file formats that get corrupted. You could use it to change the file signature on a file and then change the extension and upload it to sites where you normally would not be allowed to upload to. Most sites look at the Magic Byte to determine that you just didn't change the extension to get it to, well, accept the file. In most cases, this is used to send modified PHP files and upload them to sites that wouldn't normally let you do so. But yeah guys, that's basically it for this video. If you want a further uh, detailed video on this, or perhaps a Windows perspective version of this where I just do the same thing on Windows, let me know and I'll get around to doing that. But for the time being, I'm going to leave today's video off here. DTPK signing off. Peace. Down below are all the parts that I used, however in version 2 I, I will be adding some more parts to this to be done on this particular pistol is 100% the same. So feel free to leave this video.